Yo, what's good Trist fans, Trist stands, and Trist fam? Today, oh, where's Queen Cat? <gasps> Queen Cat, where are you, Queen Cat? <laughs> Queen Cat. I'm coming! <laughs> Queen Cat, what are you doing? Epic cringe. Oh my god, this Queen Cat is all f***ed up. Let me bite that off of your eye for you, Queen Cat. Stop biting the Queen Cat. I'm like literally cringing so hard I can't breathe. <laughs> so in my last video on Billie Eilish, I got all these comments from people that were being like, Billie Eilish isn't that breathy, she ain't that breathy, you're overdoing the breath, and all this kind of stuff. And I just kind of wanted to make a video just like demonstrating the amount of breathiness that is actually being used in an actual Billie Eilish performance. But before we get started, be sure you check out my website, you can say anything.com, because I teach single lessons online every single day. Also down in the description links my vlog channel, cover channel, and Patreon. On that Patreon, I do have a reward where I will help you improve your singing in a video very much like this one, both in video and written format. All that being said, let's get started. Also link down to my Twitch in the description. Here we go. So here's this question of like how much breath does Billie Eilish actually use to sing? And this is important not because um, I have any int interest in criticizing Billie Eilish. I think that the use of breath in your voice is a stylistic choice. I think that a lot of pop or like indie, let's say, or alternative music these days is, is sung with a lot of breathiness and there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, you need it in order to sing the style properly. And if you don't sing the style properly, then of course you're not going to be successful. So this isn't a criticism of how much breath that she's using. It is simply a guide to help people who are trying to sing like her or similar to her so that you're aware of what it is that she's doing to get the tone that she's doing. So anyway, let's get started here. We're going to check out Billie Eilish singing Bellyache live on uh, The Tonight Show. The moves though. You can already hear the breath, right? Sitting all alone, my foot of gum in the driveway. In the driveway. My friends on fire. Fire. In the back of my car, lay their bodies. Tons of breath. Where's my mind? Where's my mind? Okay, so. I just wanted to say, all the people who were saying, she doesn't use that much breath, there's not that much breath. So here's the thing, a lot of times when there's some sort of production on the voice or something along those lines, they can cut the amount of breath that is actually being produced by the singer in various different ways. They can either cut it through EQ, which is a way of like filtering different sounds out so you can filter out the breath. You can do it by adding distance between the singer and the microphone. So like if I'm singing breathy here, it sounds different than if I'm singing breathy here, right? they sound different. You can change the amount of breath by removing the filter on top of the microphone. So there's all these different ways of removing breath. And there's even ways of adding breath to the sound that isn't there. But this is a really, really good demonstration of exactly how much breath she's using because you can very, very clearly hear how just how much she's pushing out the air. Be a pretty soon. Be, be a pretty soon. And, and look, I, I'm aware that I don't sound like Billie Eilish because I ain't <laughs> I ain't a female, but you can you can hear that the same techniques are being applied and that is just sort of like <sighs> You're just sort of breathing out all of the air and kind of putting a light amount of voice into the sound Looking through my room for the money But in my nerves, I'm too young to go to jail It's kind of funny and I do actually think that this microphone is amplifying the amount of breathiness in her tone. But anyway, that is like the defining characteristic of her voice. Almost everyone has a unique characteristic to their voice that makes it more stand out or defining. And her defining quality, in my opinion, is the amount of breath that she uses. Oh, 
All right, I was just enjoying that for a second. That was actually really, really cool. I actually have never seen this performance before, so that was awesome. That isn't to say that she's always using that same level of breathiness. There's variations. Sometimes it's a little bit less, sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's in between, but just as a general approach for anyone out there who's trying to get a similar sound, just go for the breathiness. You cannot overdo it. You cannot. And I'm not saying that as in like, again, I just want to reiterate that I'm not saying this as in like, it's an easy thing to do because it's really not. It's very, very difficult to control that amount of air and it's very, very difficult to send it all out in a way that's going to sound good and not just like you have asthma. <laughs> No offense to people who have asthma. This guy is so annoying, I don't know why. Anyway, I hope that this video was helpful. Hopefully you got a little bit more insight into Billie Eilish's techniques and what her approach to singing generally is. I think she is definitely one of the, uh, she's got a really bright future ahead of her. She's so young and she's only gonna go up from here in my opinion. Be sure to check out my website, you can see anything.com if you're interested in singing lessons. We can work on some Billie Eilish songs if you want. <laughs> Until next time, Trist fans, Trist stands, and Trist fam. Peace out. <laughs>